Hello everyone, welcome to Mark 1 Design EMC video channel. In today's session, we are going to have a look how to fix a Spectrum Analyzer's front panel. Now, for EMC engineers, both Rigel and Sigland provide low-cost, good quality Spectrum Analyzers. But one of the problems with uh, this type of Spectrum Analyzer is that their front panel is very sensitive to high voltage stress, particularly in the lower frequency range. I was using this spectral analyzer to measure some motor drive um, frequency noise and as a result, without using the attenuator, the front panel was damaged. The way I found it is because when I measure some signals generated from the signal generator, I notice there's always a 15 dB difference between the measurement va value and the signal generator value. And it can be seen very clearly if I set the spectral analyzer tracking generator on and I output minus 20 dBm output and the receiving end of the front panel shows minus 35 dBm across the full range. So this is a clear sign of front panel damage. Now, I did speak to Sigland's customer service team and they are willing to have this part fixed for free. However, taking the long lead time it can lead to, I decided I will have a go myself. So this video, I'm going to show you how to have the front panel fixed. Okay, so after opening the plastic box, then unscrew the screws in the metal chassis. Next step is to open it up. Now, be careful, there are two cables here. One is the power supply to the little fan, so you just unplug that one. And then there's the power supply from the mains, so you just unplug that. So that's the PCB level. Okay, here we go. That's the board we are interested. Now I'm just going to slowly lift this up. Be careful. Mm. Oh, I see. No, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the front panel here. And the problem circuit is here. As you can see here, there's a U1 chip and that's the SSA switch we're interested. So what I'm going to do next is to measure the pin voltage to double check if this chip has been damaged or not. Okay, so this is the uh, front panel chip. Now I'm going to measure pin 1 voltage and as you can see it gives me minus 0.6 volts and pin 3 volts is close to, oh, it's, it is, it is also minus 0.6 volts where it's supposed to be 0 volts and minus 3 volts so clearly this chip has been damaged. Okay, so now this chip has been replaced, as you can see here. In the same time, I also replace these uh, dials here. So the dials are really there just to give you better ESD protection. Uh, as you can see, um, the size of the dials are quite small, so you really need to be very careful to solder these um, parts on. So now next is we're going to test it again to see whether the problem has been solved. Okay, so now we s switch on the spectral analyzer again and let's check the uh, tracking generator function. You might see there are a few spikes here in the ambient measurement. This is probably because um, I wanted to check the functionality first so I didn't secure the shielding on the PCB. Now if I turn the tracking generator on, ah, 
great. So it shows minus 20 dBm now rather than the minus 35 dBm. So it's, the front panel is been fixed.